I am. I'm candidly, I'm worried about the cost. I mean, it's, it's not, it's not inexpensive. It's thousands of dollars. Yeah, you guys were perfectly quiet and then the camera comes out and we feel the need to make a mess. Guys, have you noticed? I got a new rug in here. Um, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Can you sit? Theo, Theo, show the cameras how obedient you are. Sit. You could do it. You could do it. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna pretend that he's sitting over there obediently. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Good job, Benny. My dog's a good dog. Uh, but anyways, today is the long-awaited orthopedic veterinarian appointment for my beloved foster dog, Theo. And if you're new to this channel, this is a foster dog vlog where I document my foster dogs. And my current foster dog, this guy right here, has some severe hip issues. So we're gonna go get that figured out today. And if you're new, please make sure you hit the like button down below and click subscribe. That helps us bring awareness to my entire mission, which is to save all the damn rescue dogs. So don't, don't forget to do that before you leave. There you go. Good job. Yeah. That's a good boy. Look at this fluffy tail, guys. Look at this. So pretty. All right. So dog pro tip is to have a crate type structure in the back of your trunk because it keeps the dog safe and closed. If you were, thanks for driving by, thanks. Uh, if you were to get in an accident, knock on wood, then sometimes what happens is dogs get aggressive if a paramedic tries to come get you out and it, it, it's just best to have your dogs contained. Before we get on the road, ooh, so before, oh, are you there? Okay, so before we get on the road, um, this is a long drive. It's like 40 minutes away. Well, okay, to me, 40 minute drive anywhere is a long drive. And I hate wasted time. I hate just sitting there and, and listening to music. Sometimes I like music, but most of the time I'm like, this is such a waste of time. So I'm gonna put a podcast on to listen to while I drive. Um, I'm thinking Daryl Eves, but I don't know. And then I will, again, I'll show you as much as I can when we're in. This question is if your, did I just ask these slime yeah. dogs, are your thoughts that you will likely adopt him or you're just gonna you know, foster him? No, he's, um, he's definitely my favorite foster, but he's right. number 34 in the past 12 months, so. 34? He's, 34, 35, yeah. You're, you're a great person. Oh, thank you. We just finished at the vet for Theodore. We went to Central Texas Veterinary Specialty Hospital in Austin, and we saw Dr. Kurtzak because he's basically the big wig of ortho vet care here in Central Texas. And like we suspected, Theodore has hip dysplasia. His knees aren't great, but they don't need to be replaced. The vet said that there are two options that we have. They are both surgical. So the first one is femoral, and I have the notes here, uh, a femoral head osteotomy or a total hip replacement. So the first option, here's kind of what it looks like. Essentially, here's like the, the hip kind of joint right here, and the FHO, or femoral head osteotomy, Osteotomy would mean that they'd cut this part of the hip off, the uh, ball of the hip joint, so that it would then kind of just move, or, like pretend there's no ball, and it would just kind of move around. I guess is, is what it would look like. Uh, that is the lesser, le least expensive of the two options, faster recovery, but not as. Let, let me back up. The veterinarian explained that either surgery is really to give 
the goal of either surgery is to give the dog a high quality of life, a good quality of life, pain-free, and be able to be a normal dog. Now, the femoral head osteotomy is the cheaper of the two options, but it it's not the best in terms of quality of life, so it doesn't mean that if Theo got that, he would have he would be in pain or wouldn't be able to walk. It doesn't mean that. It just means that it may not be as pain-free as the hip replacement. It may not be, uh, he may not have as much function as the hip replacement. And that is what the second, uh, second option is for surgery, which is a hip replacement. And that is where they literally have a, I think it's titanium, but a, a an artificial hip that they'll put in him. They may need to do both, but he only does one at a time. So we'll do his right hip, which is his worst hip to start. And then we'll go from there. This isn't, this isn't a big surprise, but it just makes me sad. It makes me sad because can we verify that the cause of this is from overbreeding or poor breeding? No, but is hip dysplasia common in dogs that are bred poorly yes so it just just makes me angry but if, uh, if you didn't watch my video I'll link it up here where I talked about how I deal with my anger and frustration in situations like this but Theodore is a young active loving puppy and he just shouldn't have to be dealing with this the good news is either whatever surgery option we take I will see him through the whole process. Ultimately, we need to fix his hips and the surgery is gonna be much sooner than I thought. So next steps. Next steps are, I'm gonna talk with our board of the rescue that I volunteer with, the Heart of Texas Lab Rescue, and we'll talk about what our options are. Obviously, these are not free. This vet hospital gives us a good discount because Theo is a foster and a rescue, so that's amazing. But there is a cost and it's not inexpensive. And I'm worried about, you know, our rescue being able to cover the cost of that. And uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we, I'll figure something out. I'll fundraise, I'll do whatever it takes, but I, I want Theodore to have the surgery that's gonna give him the longest life with the most, the longest life with the least pain possible because he deserves that. Um, uh, but that's that's it. I, I am. I'm candidly. I'm worried about the cost. I mean, it's it's not it's not inexpensive. It's thousands of dollars. Um, we'll do whatever it takes, though. Period. End of story. It's just. I don't know. All right, guys. That's gonna be it. I'm gonna go run. I have the AC on, but Theo's in the back. He's ready to get out. Um, I have a whole boatload of things I gotta go do. But if you love rescue puppies give this video a big thumbs up hit that like button down below click subscribe and now more than ever i'm gonna need as much awareness to this channel as possible because theo my foster is gonna need all kinds of support you did so good at the vet buddy your hips can't handle that jump your hips can't handle that jump you got a pee pee what do you think, huh? You know we're gonna take care of you, right? What do you hear? Okay, come on, let's go inside. No, 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 no. Oh, shh. Come on, Theo. Oh, shoot, there's a loose dog. Okay, let's get inside. I don't know if you saw that, but there was a dog off leash out front. Thank you, Theodore. Thank you for letting me know. Yes, that scared the heck out of me because an off leash dog you know, that could be dangerous for my dog. And thankfully, um, thank you Theo for letting me know. He barked a little bit and I thought he was barking at a car but there was just a dog roaming the street. My heart's racing because you just never know. You never, I mean, you never know if that dog is wild and crazy and aggressive and oh, Theo. Now more than ever, I need awareness to this channel. Theodore is gonna need a lot of support from y'all, so share this video, and I hope that you have a beautiful